I swear, the government can just about get people to do damn near anything it wants. Between Bill Gates and Donald Trump and Fauci, right? I swear they can about get you to do if they want you to six foot this and six. If they say 12, you'll go 12. If they say 24, you're 24. If they say wear a mask, wear a mask. Don't wear a mask, you won't wear a mask. If they say you need a face shield, you wear a face shield. If they see special booties covering your shoes, you'll put those on too. If they say you got to start wearing rubber gloves everywhere you go, you'll do that too. If they say you got to put a fucking butt plug up your butt, you will do that to protect yourself from COVID. If Dr. Anthony Fauci says it is medically necessary, you will insert a butt plug up your butt and you will walk around all day long thinking you're going to be safe from COVID because you will do about damn near anything they tell you to do. In fact, I ask myself, what will the American public not do? What will they not do? Because like I'm saying, the next thing, as they say, we found that COVID-19 is able to infiltrate the human body through the anal orifice. And Dr. Anthony Fauci is now suggesting this special uh, a butt plug to keep the COVID-19 virus out of your rectum. And, and they'll sell them. They'll be 99, 99, whatever. And you get them in different colors or you get a MAGA butt plug or a, a Biden butt 2020 butt plug or whatever you want. You can have special designs on your butt plug, anything you want. But American public will do that. They will put the butt plug in their butt and they will spend the rest of their lives, if they're told to, that it is medically necessary, that it will keep them safe, they will walk around the rest of their lives with a plug up their butt. This is what, I'm, folks, I mean, they make them, they've had them do owling, planking, this stupid ice challenge. I mean, freaking what's next? If they tell you to riot in the streets, they go out in the street and riot. If they tell you something's good, you think it's good. If they tell you something's bad, you think it's bad. If they say the person's good, you think he's good. If they say a person's bad, you think he's bad. If they say walk counterclockwise wearing pink in circles a hundred times, or you'll somehow cure cancer, they'll do it. They'll do it. That's what people do. Americans have to be some of the most easily manipulated, stupid people on the face of the earth that are willing to do almost anything. I'm asking myself, what is it that, where will they stop? Where will, is the line drawn, you know? Maybe I'm over top of this little butt plug thing, but the point is made, people. The point is made. What's next? I mean, no one's, they can tell them what to talk about and what not to talk about. They just don't mention it. No one talks about it because what they tell them to talk about is the only damn thing these people talk about. So if Fauci comes out with this new butt plug thing, that's what they're going to talk about because they're going to push on the TV. They're going to tell you to talk about it. You're going to talk about it. That's what you do. That's what you do. If they don't mention it, you never talk about it. You don't look for anything they might not be mentioning. And you do everything they tell you to do. That's it. I mean, that is the topic of this short recording. They'll probably never make it anywhere, you know, because it's about American public will likely do just, I mean, chop your foot off. If they say you have to chop your foot off quickly. I think we think you have COVID-19 in your little toe. Chop it off right now. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. You'll chop it off. You have COVID-19 has touched down upon your head. We're going to have to chop your head off, sir. Actually, you're going to have to do it yourself. Here's the knife. Here's a, a chainsaw if you prefer the if you prefer the Al Pacino Scarface style. But we're going to have to separate your head from your body so your body is no longer infected. It will not be infected. You know, what the fuck? What the fuck? <sighs> All right. Well, I, I'm going to end on this. I'm not putting the butt plug in. I'm not. And I only wear a mask when I got to go buy groceries. Because I don't want to wear a fucking mask. I don't go anywhere else. I only go where I have to fucking go. To go where I have to fucking have. And that's to the liquor fucking store. And to the fucking food mart for food. That's it. I could go other places. I could spend money elsewhere. But I don't. Because you have to wear a fucking mask. And I think it's stupid. I think it's stupid because they've got the topic of conversation as masks right now. You notice that? Oh, a mask. I should wear a mask. You shouldn't wear a mask. Wear a mask. Don't wear a mask. Asshole, you're not wearing a mask. You're trying to get us killed. Oh, my God. <laughs> They're shooting people, fighting people, stabbing people over fucking masks. Crazily enough, no one's talking about the fact the Wuhan lab is right there near the fucking fish market where the shit came from. Trump keeps calling the China virus. And I got where Bill Gates has been meeting with the president of China. His wife's on the World Health Organization along with Tedros Adhanom, the known Ethiopian terrorist. Look into it yourself. I have to fucking tell you this shit. You figure out your goddamn self. And so they're all working together. And as far as no one wants to talk about it being 
intentionally released and bioengineered. Although, see, our scientists looked at it. It's, this is definitely a, a organic, natural wild virus. This has not been bioengineered. You know what that means? That means it has been bioengineered. They have to say that. Did you expect them to come out and say, well, yeah, this is one that the Perbright Institute uh, under Bill Gates has a patent on this. Now, the 3.7 million that we sent to the Wuhan lab under Fauci and NIH during the Obama administration, um, that was to study a uh, coronaviruses. And we just got to let you guys know that, that we may have uh, modified this thing intentionally, unintentionally, but it escaped. Or someone might have let it loose. And that's what's going on with the world today. You know, how, that's not... That's not going to be said. It's never going to be fucking said. But what they are going to say is they're going to deny it, deny it, deny it. Fallback position on this one is the China virus, the China virus. Just like on 9-11, if you dig deep enough, the government's willing to let you think that there were stand down orders. They knew about the planes, but stood by and let the terrorists fly the planes into the buildings anyways to give them the impetus to go into Iraq for the oil, into Afghanistan for the rare earth and the lithium mining. Folks, you know... Here's a crazy thing. One of three things or a combination of these three things is going on. Because the American public, given the facts, is able to make the right decision. Now, I know I've just insulted a lot of people by saying they put a butt plug up their butt if Fauci told them to. But that's because you're not being given the facts and you actually still trust Fauci. You don't know much about Fauci at all. You probably don't know much about Bill Gates either. I didn't until I looked into Bill Gates. I was like, oh, shit. Well, this guy's not who I thought he was. I thought he was some brilliant software engineer guy. This guy's a, a bit of a scalawag. He's a bit of a scalawag. So if you look into him, they're not who you thought they were, you know. So I didn't mean to insult people, but my point being one of three things that's going on is why you're not capable of making the right decision and you'd wear a mask or social distance or uh, jump up and down five times every 30 steps if they told you to, you know, because you don't haven't gotten the information. You haven't gotten the facts. You don't know that you don't know. So either number one, you didn't get the facts. They didn't tell it to you on the mainstream television. You went on Facebook. That's totally controlled. You didn't get it there. You went to the alternative media, which they all map to you. You didn't get it there. And I know that because no one knows about Biden. I'm not talking about the stupid crap you see on freaking TV and on the internet about Biden. I'm talking about under the Obama administration, Biden participating in the multi-agency cover-up of the radioactive plume and cloud from Fukushima. Yeah, no shit. No shit. We got blasted. Despite what the National Cancer Institute says, which, by the way, is under NIH and Fauci, what a fucking asshole he is. Because the National Cancer Institute is straight lying to you about Fukushima, folks. I got him in a lie. If you read my book, you will know absolutely beyond any doubt, not just the National Cancers, but... NRC are a bunch of liars. So I proved that in my book. I proved that Obama, Biden, and Clinton, Hillary Clinton, participated in a multi orchestrated, a multi agency cover up of the radioactive plume and cloud. And no one knows about it. A handful of people do that have read my book, but that's just, that's not very many. And it's probably best that way. That's why I'm still alive today to talk about it. But that's the fact, folks. No one found in 2012. When Obama was running for office, and I forwarded around to everyone I could think of these documents proving this multi-agency cover-up that we got blasted with a radioactive plume and cloud from Fukushima, and Obama administration and multiple agents, DHS, FEMA, all those guys hid this from us, and I would forward it around. It was 2012 Obama was running against Ron Paul slash Mitt Romney. And yet to get the nod was going to be Mitt Romney, even when Ron Paul filled stadiums. This is another crucial topic to talk about. How they rigged that election as well. How Ron Paul, like Bernie Sanders, is the carrot in front of the donkey guy. Okay, they're all controlled opposition, folks, is what I found. Every damn one of them, you don't reach that level. Because if you're not with them at that level, you don't last. They don't last. So they either capitulate and join the team or they don't last. And by one means or another, they're out of there. Watch Mr. Smith goes to Washington. That's black and white. And that's a damn accurate movie about exactly how it is. Exactly how it is. If not out and out conspiracy, which we know now, if you looked at these four year documents, Fukushima, the agencies and the government do conspire behind their back on a regular basis. It's fact. So funny that in 2012, when I forwarded this information around, nobody used it against Obama. No Republican would touch it. No Republican would touch it against Obama. And I said, hmm, 
Hmm. And then when Ron Paul filled stadiums, but Mitt Romney had to position cameras in such a way so as to make it look like a lot of people were at his rallies, and Ron Paul had stadiums full of people, and then the RNC Republican Party gives the nod to Mitt Romney, who nose dives and loses to Obama. I said, hmm, they just installed Obama. And after all those uh, years of long gum and shootings and gun sales, we kind of got a good idea what Obama was in there for. And now we go to Trump with the Hillary in business. And I tell you, they install Trump. And they're going to reinstall Trump. And here's the proof. Here's the proof. And I still got those three things. I'm going to tell you what's going on, why people don't know that they don't know. Okay. And let me, let's get to that. Let's finish that. And then we we'll go back to Trump being installed, reinstalled. Number two. Remember, number one was people aren't getting the information. They can't make a good decision because they're not getting the information. That has to be one possibility. The second possibility is that when given the information, when they see the information, when they're open-minded enough to look at something that might contradict one of their known belief systems, they must not understand it. They do not comprehend it. When I try to explain the conflict of interest, you must not, in your brain, be able to comprehend that concept. That someone might be biased and not objective in a decision because a friend of theirs may either suffer because of that decision or might benefit because of that decision. So you wouldn't make it if it hurt your friend, but you might make it if it benefited your friend. And thus you couldn't be objective and you couldn't be unbiased. And that's a conflict of interest. It's a really simple concept. So when I talk about the Fauci Gates conflict of interest, which is a flagrant, grandiose, over-the-top, monumental conflict of interest, being that Dr. Anthony Fauci is head of the coronavirus task force, and Bill Gates is in the biotech, vaccine, pharmaceutical industry, I say, holy sheep shit. Bill Gates is going to be the uh, world's first trillionaire. He's going to beat Bezos out. I, I, I'm predicting he's going to beat Bezos out to go to Forbes top of the list, the most richest motherfucker on planet Earth with over a trillion freaking dollars. You know how many sex slaves that guy's going to have? Think how many Satan, satanic uh, parties he can have the Abramoff chick over to to do all this disgusting crap. So yeah, we're going to make him a trillionaire. That's a conflict of interest. That's going on now under the Trump administration. No one will talk about it. That's number two. You don't understand the information given to you. You don't understand that's a conflict of interest. You don't understand that Dr. Anthony Fauci, who's referred to by RFK Jr. as Bill Gates being his mentor and uh, co-partner, right? That's how close their relationship is. Co-investor, I think is how he termed it. Co-investor and mentor, Bill Gates. Anthony Fauci will be deciding how much money goes to who. A very influential in that. Pfizer just gotten $1.96 billion. Johnson Johnson, who was at the event 201, had a participant there, got paid off immediately with a $456 million, I believe, that's how much they got to make a vaccine, unproven vaccine. And Johnson Johnson's one whose baby powder gave people cancer. You remember that? Remember that? Damn, people. So no one's talking about this conflict of interest. And... I'm trying to figure out why this is so and why no one seems to care about the fact that Democrats won't touch this conflict of interest with Fauci Gates. They won't touch it. They will not touch it. Uh, Harris won't touch it. Biden won't touch it. Schumer won't touch it. Pelosi won't touch it. Shifty Schiff won't touch it. Of course, the Republicans ain't going to talk about it. They're all making money. It's an orgy of corruption. Monsef Slawi just came from Moderna to head up the Warp Speed Task Force. He's invested in Moderna. They said he's going to make a lot of money. He's making a lot of money. And they just made one CEO. Who was it? Uh, it might have been from Moderna. Just became a, a billionaire, I think they said. So uh, money is changing hands. People's getting super duper rich. Fauci's well connected with all these people. This The biggest conflict of interest is the Fauci Gates. But you, then you got the Monsef Slawi from Moderna to the Warp Speed Task Force. It's such an orgy of corruption. It makes me want to fucking vomit. It's sick. It's sick. So number two, number one is you didn't get the information. I'm fucking giving it to you now. Get the butt plug out of your butt and fucking pay attention. I'm giving you the information now. Number two is you don't understand it. You don't understand what a conflict of interest is. I've just explained it to you in the most simplistic freaking terms possible. So if you don't get it now, well, then you're just a fucking moron. I can't help you there. Number three. Let's talk about number three. Number three is you don't fucking care. You do not fucking care when I tell you about this and say, holy fuck, Biden hit the nuclear goddamn plume and I proved it 350 pages of FOIA documentation, forensic evidence that has a highly probative value admissible in court, was back in 2012 admissible in court, 
but they own the DOJ, they own the FBI, no one's going to go there. I get it. I get it. I get it. So you don't care about that about Biden. You don't care. You don't care that Biden hid that nuclear plume and lots of people are going to get cancer. Even if it's one person gets cancer, that's one person too freaking many. Too many. And now when I tell you about Donald Trump, I say, look, this guy's administration is an orgy of corruption between the Fauci, Gates, flagrant, grandiose, over-the-top, monumental, conflict of interest, holy shit, and that guy from Moderner just went to the War Speed Task Force? You've got to be shitting me. It's so over-the-top, in-your-face. It's so in-your-face. You don't care. You're still going to vote for that asshole? You're still going to vote for the, one of the most corrupt administrations this country's ever seen. Second, probably only to Obama or George Bush or Bill Clinton. But Trump, by the time he's done, he will have outdone them. Just watch what a lame duck Donald Trump present does, who will be reinstalled by those Diebold voting machines. They're trying to convince you on TV right now. Don't use the write in ballot. You can't trust the U.S. mail. Please use our Diebold voting machines. You know what? If you gave a fuck, you would look into the Diebold voting machines yourself. Just Google it. Google it. I'm not going to. Do I have to tell you? I said, I'm not going to, but I'm going to tell you. Around the world, they're in hot water everywhere. Everywhere. And you know why the Diebold voting machines sold around the world in such quantities? Because they're so easily hacked. Fuck. Oh, my God. So, I just told you guys. Number one, whatever they say, you will fucking do it. If Fauci tells you to put a butt plug up your butt to protect you from coronavirus, you'll fucking do it. I swear to God, I'm going to see you guys with the shapes and of your fucking drawers of the butt plug showing through your fucking pants soon enough. I ain't putting one in. And I'm only wearing a mask when I got to get fucking groceries or liquor at the liquor store, my beer. That's it. That's it. Fuck them. I don't spend money anywhere else. Fuck them. I don't participate. I stopped participating in society, by the way, years ago. Years ago. Don't go to concerts. Don't go to movies. Rarely go out to eat dinner. Save my freaking money is what I do, and I don't waste it on bullshit. So I'm telling you, you guys will do whatever they tell you to do because you, do, most of you, I honestly believe the problem is this. It's a cult. America's a fucking cult. You guys are fucking totally entranced and hypnotized and, and charmed by these figureheads like Donald Trump, Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, George Bush, the ones they put up on the TV all the time and say they're so awesome. They're the greatest presence we ever had. All these awesome things about them. And you believe it. You believe it. It's a cult. You worship that deity. They're like gods who walk the earth. They're like demigods that walk the earth. And you worship them. False idol worship if you want to get biblical on it, which I don't. But that's what they say in the Bible. False idol worship. You're worshiping these guys like they're gods. So when I tell you about this, and you understand it, but then you don't care. You're going to vote for him anyway. Well, you sold your soul out on that one, didn't you? You compromised your own integrity if you ever had any. Because I'm telling you, I'm not fucking voting for either of these two assholes. There's no fucking way. There's no way. Neither one will hold the Obama accountable for Plumegate and Trump. And look at what Trump's up to. Holy, look, I got a list of 15 reasons not to vote for Trump. First, he said he's going to go after Hillary. As soon as he got elected, CBS interviewed him and asked him, are you going to go after Hillary? You know what he said? She's good people. Quote, she's good people. That one's like, ew, that's not good. Four years, he's never mentioned abortion. Have you heard him rail about abortion in four years? He put Kavanaugh in, that's it, that was it. You honestly think in the next four years, he's going to make some move on abortion. Seriously, you're going to find out what a lame duck establishment deep state president is when he's reinstalled and he don't touch abortion. And he's got to be reinstalled, folks. I've already predicted this. He's going to fucking be reinstalled because he's going to flip on climate change too. Oh, he's going to sell a lot of vaccines. Donald Trump, as Obama was a gun salesman for the deep state, Donald Trump is a vaccine salesman. It's really, really that simple. It's really that simple. And, and Trump is going to flip on climate change in a second term. He has to convince his constituents who are vaccine skeptics and climate change skeptics. He's going to be the flipper on that one. And he's going to call a press conference. I was wrong. I was wrong about climate change. And by the way, I just got my vaccine and so did my family and so did Barron. And they're safe and they're healthy and therapeutic. And I insist you get one too. Watch and see, folks. Watch and see. All right, 20 fucking minutes. I didn't expect to go on this long. Look, I'm tired of fucking playing nice guy. This is bullshit. They've ruined the fucking world. When I see little kids having to wear masks, I think this Bill Gates motherfucker should be in jail. He should serve the rest of his days incarcerated in a fucking maximum security prison. 
and not the one Epstein was in, because by God, we don't want someone to go in there and kill him. He needs to serve his term in fucking prison all the way through. No easy way out, motherfucker. No professional assassin going into the maximum security prison and killing Epstein. They need to do hard time. And all of them do. You don't think any of these other billionaires are any better than Bill Gates? These are the guys who do depopulation. And you know what? The population at large breeds like rats. Out of freaking control. They just breed randomly uh, and, and like, like, like some kind of animal. Like a freaking animals. And that's why the globalists, these billionaires, look at an overpopulated earth and say, hmm, what are we going to do? And someone says, well, for 3.7 taxpayer money, we didn't even pay for it. We had these assholes pay for it. We had them bioengineer coronavirus. We're going to say it's a bat virus occurred naturally in the wild. Worst case, fallback position. China's going to get blamed for it. We're all going to make a lot of money. Even China, who's selling PPE to the U.S. right now. They are. They're cleaning up. They're cleaning up. And Bill Gates says we're going to depopulate and make a tidy profit at the same time. Just as we did with Fukushima Plume Gate, which if you read my book, you can know the truth about it. And guess what? Our cancer centers, our cancer industry made windfall profits after Fukushima. Look into it yourself. I shouldn't have to tell you these things. It's the obvious consequences of a mass radiation poisoning that a lot of people's going to end up going to the doctor and the cancer centers. Think about it. I mean, people's fucking stupid. They must not be thinking things through. Their memory is so short. It's incredible, right? All right, that's it. That was my 20 fucking minute rant. Now I got work to do and I got kitty cats to play with. And that's how I'm going to chill out and relax. I got baby kitty cats to have a freaking great time with. The Bill Gates can't fuck my kitty cats up. Are you Bill Gates? You're not going to create a kitty cat fucking virus. Are you asshole? Fucking jerk.